welcome to Riley's Roost People tell me they have quite a hoot And there's just no way of knowing who to stop on by And say hi Well every morning when the sun comes up You'll find me with my coffee cup Heading out back, guitar all tuned up I got another idea to be made up in a song In the shack in the back <laughs> Well, welcome to Riley's Roost, Shack in the Back. So cool <laughs> to be here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm You're sitting awesome. Here, I'm sitting here with a very good friend of mine, almost a bestie, really. This is true. Miss Danielle <laughs> from Canada. Tell us where you're from, Danielle. I am from Northern Alberta, so I'm from Grand Prairie. This is a, It's an amazing community of great people. I'm very blessed to call that home. There's something that fascinates me about you that I want to share that... Uh, that I'm just blown away by. At the age of 15, <laughs> you started your own event. Tell us yes. about your event. <laughs> Absolutely. Big Hearts for Big Kids yeah. has been entirely life-changing to me. Um, I feel like it really showed me what music is capable of, hmm. like what the reason why I want to do this is because music speaks to people and it stands for things and it talks about messages and it raises awareness and more than anything it brings people together right and this event has just been so cool so I, I was 15 and I my mom brought home this pamphlet talking about the Sunrise House which is the local youth shelter in Grand Prairie wow and I was shocked reading about the statistics of kids my own age in northern Alberta who were turning to the shelter to sleep every night wow. and I wanted to do something about it they were really low on funds so initially it started as a backyard concept. We well, were going to do like a little concert. And, right. And it just grew. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, we didn't have a clue what we were doing, but I got my, my family involved and a group of friends. And I went door to door to local businesses asking for sponsorship and called up a bunch of music friends. And all of a sudden this concert concept was born. And yeah. And your very first year you raised... 30, yes, 30,000 just 000 in your first year. In our first year. And that night, the Sunrise House director came to us in tears before the event started. Wow. And he's like, I'm really sorry, Tanil, but we just had to close our doors this morning. He's like, the shelter is out of money. He's like, we just sent everyone home with foster care. <gasps> and he's just like, I totally understand if you want to put your funds elsewhere, but wow. we can't. we can't keep going right now. And so it was like huge motivation to all the more reason to continue the event. Right. And I think the community was shocked at how much support they really needed. And that night, everyone just opened up their hearts and, and made it happen. And within a year and a half of that first year, we we had reopened this shelter, fully renovated and restaffed. And it's been over six years of Big Hearts for Big Kids and over $775,000 since we started. So wow. it blows my mind That's all so the time. It's <laughs> incredible. Okay. Thank you. What fascinates me the most is that you recognized at such a young age that you could step forward with your music <laughs> and change the world. Thanks. Really, you made a huge difference in your community. You reopened a shelter. I mean, that's huge for 15 years old. Thanks. A couple of my favorite songs, one one that you'll do for us. Yes, I'm so excited. That's a very near and dear song to yeah, me. Yeah, you came in with a great idea, so you want to tell us about that? Yes, I will. <laughs> I'm so grateful. It's so neat to be able to, it's so vulnerable to sit down in a songwriting session and like mm -hmm. explain what you want to communicate with someone. Yeah, and it is. you and Ron just jumped right over that. So thank you so much for embracing this concept. But I had... While we were out on the road for the Play It Forward tour, um, mm -hmm. I had got a call from my, my very dear friend that I'd grown up with since since kindergarten. Since before kindergarten, we danced together. And mm -hmm. they were just like a second family to me. Mm -hmm. And we were very close through all of our years together. And, um, yeah, I had just heard that her, her childhood home that she'd grown up in her whole life had burnt to the ground. And it's just like devastating mm. they had so much history in their home too her mm -hmm. family comes from a history of chuck wagon racers right and they yeah, just have like so much history in their home and it was so mm -hmm. sad to see that disappear and but in the midst of that it just blew me away how strong they were and mm -hmm. how 
how much it brought them together and how much love they were just sharing with everyone. And like, you know, you could see them grieving and see them feeling those emotions. But at the same time, they were like, we're okay. Like yeah. what matters is us and yeah. our hearts are beaten and we're going to be just fine. Mm-hmm. And they rebuilt this new home and they're such strong people and they just are so kind and generous to those around them. And it was just amazing. There was just no big deal. They rebuilt the home, and it's an incredible house that they have, and they've got, you know, so many memories that they keep with them where they go, and mm-hmm. it was just that concept of it's what you keep. It's not yeah. It's not what you've lost. It's not, that's not what you focus on. It's what you have. It's what, it's who you are. It's who you yeah. are as a family. Yeah. That's what matters. So You get to they, keep your loved ones, and you get to you keep, get to all, keep all the memories. Loved ones. I love, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so... They were definitely the essence of this concept mm-hmm. to me. And Absolutely. there had been some floods in High River that had mm-hmm. been happening at that time, too. And and there was a flood here. And there was a flood here. So, so there's lots yeah. of tragedies in different parts of history that we've gone through that it's like, at the end of the day, it just reminds you of, of what the bright perspective is. You know, it's not about the materials. It's about what you keep. Right. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. The shack in the back today. I love your shack. This is so amazing. (laughs) You're incredible, Riley. Thank you so much for including me in this. I'm honored. It's awesome. Can't wait to see what you where the world will be when you hit my age. Because you've already made such a difference in your short life. Thank you. It's incredible. Well, let's call Clay in. Why don't we do? Let's sing. Let's sing our song. song. Let's do it. All right. (laughs) Thanks, Riley. Two. In society, it's hard to hear the good when everybody's losing hope. I've got a close friend with quite a family, lived in a loving home, furnished in history until the water swallowed everything made known. Their love will find. Key.